Hey, what's going on? Kat Krasilnikov is here. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and I hope you're not watching football because that's what everybody's doing here on Sundays. So I'm not a big football fan, but I have to do it from my bedroom. That's the only quiet place I found today because <laughs> they're screaming my husband and the kids downstairs watching football. So for those who don't know me, I want to quickly introduce myself. My name is Kat. I'm a network marketer, on my online marketing coach. Hey Mike, how is it going? I teach people how to build your network marketing business online using primarily social media. So you don't have to be bugging your friends, your family. You don't have to be chasing random strangers or uh, spam people online using copying and paste messaging. So, and today I want to talk to you about a very special topic for me and very important. Uh, how you can create those lasting connections for your business, even if you're an introvert like me. And I'm probably the most introverted introvert as hard as it gets. Uh, <laughs> and if you're introvert, drop me one in the comments so I will know that you can relate to what I'm going to be talking about. But it's also going to help not to the, just introverted people. It's going to help everyone else to create connections for your business. And you probably know that we're not in the business of selling and recruiting. We are in the business of creating connections and building relationships. If you agree with that, drop me two. If you agree that it's not a business of selling or recruiting, it's a business of creating connections and building relationships. Hey, Mike. Thank you. So, uh, first, it's very hard for us introverts to initiate any kind of contact with people, especially with strangers. That's like a lot of people will have anxiety attack before they have to speak in public, go live, you know, on Facebook, uh, or do anything publicly related because it's very unnatural for us. We like to be alone. We like to, you know, think and all those things. We're not happy when there's a large crowd around. We don't like the spotlight. So we want to be quiet and alone and just enjoy what we have. So, and when I got involved, it, it wasn't a problem for me. You know, it's my life. It's who I am. And I'm pretty happy the way it is. But when I got involved with network marketing, I understood that it's probably going to be a problem because I'm not too excited to go out there and build those relationships and make new friends. I'm very uncomfortable doing that. So I want to share with you one very simple exercise that's going to help you to stretch that communication muscle and help you to build naturally without being pushy or salesy those lasting connections for your business. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? So it's a very simple exercise, but it helped me big time to just go and put myself out there, you know, and be who I am and actually enjoy building those relationships. So I learned this exercise from a book. Let me go grab the book. <laughs> Should have put it closer to myself. Uh, well, and it's also going to be backwards. It's called Now or Never, Your Epic Life and Five Steps, The Bridge from Where You Are to Where You Want to Be by Alexi Panos and Preston Smile. So I've been following them on social media for a while, and I bought their book. It's very easy to read. Uh, and so that's where I learned this exercise, and it helped me big time. So there's a way they recommend it. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so much. There's the way they recommend to do it, and I kind of modified it uh, to my life, made it a little bit easier, and I'm going to share with you both ways, and you decide which way is going to be better for you. So the way they recommend it, it's every single day for the whole entire week, so they want you to commit it to seven days. So every single day, pick three people. Uh, it could be anywhere, but people that you normally wouldn't engage with, so it's either, you know, somebody at your work that you normally wouldn't talk to if you work at a place where there's a lot of people. Uh, or you can engage with somebody at the grocery store or at any place, elevator, whatever. But somewhere that you normally would not 
engage. And for introverts, it's a normal life. We don't engage with people on our own will, right? <laughs> we, we don't initiate the first contact. It takes probably longer for us, I would say, to warm up to people. But as soon as we do that, we're, you know, could be even outgoing and goofy people to be around with. But it takes just longer to warm up to strangers. So the way they teach that, pick three people and just engage with them without any agenda whatsoever. Don't try to sell them anything. Don't try to recruit them into your business. Just engage with people on a human level. Uh, you can compliment them on their outfit. You can compliment them on their service. You can just say, hi, how are you doing? So any way you want to engage, but it has to be something you normally won't do. So, and they want you to do that with three different people uh, every day for seven days. And then at the end of seven days, you're going to feel like it's not a big deal. It's your becomes your second nature. But I modified this exercise a little bit to make it a little bit easier transition into that engagement thing. So how I did it, first three days, I would um, just make an eye contact first, initiate the eye contact and smile. For me, it was unnatural. I wouldn't even make an eye contact with the person I don't know. That's how introverted I am. <laughs> so for me, it was even getting out of my comfort zone, look a person in the eye and smile for complete strangers. So for three days, I would do it with three people. And it's sort of easier into the next step. So for the next three days, I would just say, hi, how are you doing? Also, eye contact, smile, and say, how are you doing? I've never done that. Actually, guys, when I just moved to the United States, uh, for me, it was shockingly that actually strangers smile to you and ask you how you're doing. In Russia, we don't do that. People like gloomy and serious, and they're never going to look at you in public. So for me, it was very unusual that people actually smile at you and ask how you're doing, and they completely don't know you. So yeah, it was, it was you know, a big stretch for my communication muscle <laughs> because I didn't grew up seeing that every day, which is amazing. So the for you probably it would you can skip those first two steps because you're already okay with them so for me it was a challenge so second day second three days i would sit, give it eye contact smile and say how are you doing to three people that i normally wouldn't engage with and the next I don't know how many days I would do it. I probably do it now forever. So for as long as you can do it, I would engage with people and ask them more personal stuff. For example, you saw some kind of pictures they posted on Facebook and you can say, hey, uh, what a cute grandkids that you have. What's their names? I saw you posted pictures on Facebook. And uh, that, or you can ask, man, what ca what vacation guys you're going? I saw that you're planning something, something like this. You know, people post a lot of personal stuff on Facebook. Use it to engage with them and compliment them on whatever they're doing. So without any agenda to you know to sell anything to them or to recruit them into your business, and you will notice that. Yeah, yeah, Carla, it helped me big time. So when you engage people with no agenda, you will find them approaching you and they will be asking you questions. Uh, and if you don't, they think you're unapproachable. And a lot of people actually told to me that uh, they thought I was unapproachable. And when they found out how, I don't know, and they want to give myself compliments, <laughs> I'm actually a decent person that can hold a conversation and interesting to talk to. So at first, yeah, people, first impression I would give to people is that I'm unapproachable and that's because I would never, ever, ever initiate the contact with them. So, and when you engage with people on a human level, you show them that you're interested in their life, they will be interested in your life and they will be asking questions, what you're doing, what is it that you're passionate about? Why your eyes light up when you speak about whatever you speak about? Because it's going to come up sooner or later. So that's when you can bring up your products or your opportunity or whatever else you want to bring up. And it becomes natural. You're not going to feel like you're trying to sell them something. You're not going to feel like you're pushing them into something. They're going to be interested 
in what you're doing. <laughs> and it's kind of like offline attraction marketing. And that's actually how I recruited people into my business and sold my product in the beginning. But the bad part comes that sooner or later you run out of people to talk to, right? Uh, and going out to the cold market was not an option for me. I would probably not want to go to the mall and even if you tell me put the gun to my head and say I kill you or you go to the mall and start recruiting people, I will choose to be killed. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I have a story of cold prospecting probably good for another video. I actually went to a foreign country to cold prospect when I was 19 years old. Yeah. Yeah, that's how crazy, <laughs> how crazy I was. But I'll tell you in an, another video how that went. Uh, so after that, I said, I'll never, ever, ever go cold prospecting again. <laughs> so what do you do when um, you run out of people to talk to? So I posted a link to an amazing training above this video. Uh, you can click and sign up and it will teach you how to attract your prospect to you online so you don't actually have to do it offline anymore because in my story I didn't have any more people to talk to <laughs> Jennifer I promise I will tell cold prospecting story in my <laughs> upcoming life videos yes it, it was something I definitely learned a lot but I never want to do that again <laughs> yeah so, and I want to very quick tell you guys how to do the same uh, exercise, but online. Because as soon as you start building your business online, a lot of people facing a challenge when uh, nobody is commenting on my posts and nobody interested in, interested in my business. Uh, in order for people to be interested in your business or in what you're doing, you have to show some interest in them. Just like what I told you guys for offline communications, you can do the same online. So go and like their posts, go and comment on their posts. And even if you're gonna share somebody's post, you're gonna be like their best friend. And they will want to pay you back for whatever you did. Yeah, and people are gonna remember that. Even if you think nobody cares if I like something or I comment, people do remember things like that and they're gonna appreciate it. So if you want people to comment on your post and like your post and share them, go and do that to them first without any agenda, without asking anything in return. And Marge, you were that person for me. Hi, how are you doing? You were that person who showed up on my page and start liking my stuff and I was like who is that woman and she commented and she did all those wonderful things and it's like who is that amazing fairy godmother <laughs> who does that who does it now these days so I actually went and I found her page and I started doing the same for her just to pay her a favor because it's huge in online business if somebody likes you know or comments because it's exposed your um, content to more people as you know Facebook rolling out that new thing that everyone is talking about that's where's organic um, reach it's gonna be very weak for the business pages so engagement is gonna be one of those things where people will be able to see your stuff <laughs> yeah Marge is the fairy godmother that's how I felt like she was like that light that I was actually looking for her when I was going live because she was there cheering me up and supporting and it was amazing. So if you guys liked uh, what I shared with you today, comment, uh, comment that you liked it, click like, click a heart and I appreciate what you're doing right now. And uh, yeah, in my upcoming, I forgot what I was going to say at the end, it was <laughs> something important. Oh yeah. Hi Marie. So I was going to tell you something. Some of you know that I work for the postal service and um, uh, I worked probably for a year before they decided to train me for the window, you know, where you with the people, customer service and people come to you, mail stuff and do all those things. I was terrified. I was like, oh my God, how am I going to be out there talking to people? So I wasn't afraid, you know, to push buttons on the computer and mess up something. I was terrified talking to people. I was like, oh my God, I don't care. 
what are you mailing? Just give it to me and get out of here. <laughs> you know, because sometimes they come and they will say, well, where are you from? Oh my God. Oh, I was like, gosh, here we go again. Because as soon as they hear the accent, they want to know more. So, and I was just, don't ask me anything. Just give me your package, get out of here. So, and this exercise that I just told you guys about helped me big time also at work because I was terrified going there to that window job and be in front of people all day long because like I said, for introverts, it's very unnatural to be on public, talk to people, share your personal stuff. We're very uncomfortable. So, and this exercise that I shared with you helped me actually at my day job that I actually enjoy doing what I do, uh, you know, and it helped me to communicate with people and engage with them. And now a lot of customers are like my friends now. There is a lady who comes every week and she mails bread. She makes homemade bread and she mails it, ships it to her family whenever in different states. So, and I know what she does and what she's mailing and how fast it needs to get there. And she appreciates that. And she'll tell me, you know, all her stories and I appreciate them. And it builds relationships. And yeah, now I feel like they're my friends and they know who I am and they know what I do. That's how you build those relationships without that agenda first. Because a lot of us network marketers, as soon as we take this business seriously and was like, yeah, I'm gonna go build that business. So now I need to recruit everybody I see. We forget that I don't know what you call it, that passion. We forget that human factor and we became like a recruiting bots. I remember I was at that point where I was just thinking, oh my God, how to bring up my opportunity in the conversation. And this is, oh, this is, feels terrible. So if you guys already went through your warm market and you're terrified going out there cold prospecting, the training above going to help you to figure out how to attract people to you online. And that's actually the training I went through when I just started this business. And if you want to learn how to do that, click the link above and sign up and you're going to learn a lot from this training and it's absolutely free. So uh, it was a pleasure talking to you guys today. Um, if you learn something new, drop me, what number are we on? Three. Drop me number three in the comment if you learn something new or you just were entertained by my stories. <laughs> so I hope you guys, I hope I will see you tomorrow. My life is crazy. I had literally bribe my kids with ice cream. They usually don't eat ice cream that often to sit quiet for 10 minutes so I can do this video. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you so much. So I hope I will be able to hop on tomorrow. I That's my life. I don't know what time I'm going to do it. I just go with the flow. That's how I can do it right now. Hopefully uh, later my life have will have a little bit more structure and I have schedule, can schedule my life videos. So uh, I will see you next time and I'm glad you enjoyed it.